Now, this next one, folks, this may or may not have happened in the last few hours. I've been away from the news, from the radio, from everywhere for about five or six hours now. But I heard a little conversation on TalkSport this morning on the Jim and Simon show. Um, who would be getting the better the day of the deal if there was a swap between Sterling and Sancho? And I also know that they ask uh, folks to ring in. If you're a United fan, do you want Sterling? And how do you feel about Sancho going? And if you're a Chelsea fan, how do you feel about Sancho? And how do you feel about Sterling going? Now, it's weird. This was first mooted about three or four days ago. And I thought, oh, we don't want Sterling. We don't want Sterling. No, no, he's not the player he was. And I was never sure I loved him. And I thought, he misses a good few chances. You know, he's not the greatest finisher in the world. And I, initially, I was all, no, 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 no. I don't know if I want it. And then without listening to the Jim and Simon show today, and I've got to say, Danny Murphy spoke a lot of sense regarding the, the deal there. They, they asked Danny who'd be getting the best of the deal. And he said, United. Um, I had to concur um, I was thinking more about it the last couple of days see the reason I didn't want Sterling in there I thought well on one wing you've got Garnacho. you can't dislodge him although he's not started the first two games he's going to start starting now he's been away I think with Argentina which is why he's not started him but he should have done but I think he's going to going forward and I don't want Diallo being dislodged on the other side I want him to have some games because he never had enough last year and I, I felt sorry for him Anthony I'm not bothered about and Rashford, if we get the Rashford of two years ago, fantastic. But at the moment, we've not got that Rashford. Um, so I thought, do we need him? Do we want him in there? And then I thought, well, firstly, you do get injuries. Secondly, he does work hard. He works up and down the line. He could even possibly be used as a wing-back. I'd forgotten he's played through the middle on a few occasions, and we're lacking there. I mean, there's even rumours of Tony. I don't know that's going to happen, but there's, there's rumours. They're only faint. Um, but I'm thinking to myself, well, you've got old uh, Rasmus, who's always injured. You've got Xerxes, who's come in, but really isn't a number nine. It doesn't look like we're going to get a striker. So I thought, well, you know, we know Rashford can double up, but maybe so can Sterling. I believe Sterling can play on the left or the right, although like most of our wingers, he prefers the left, which isn't ideal. But he doesn't pull his face wherever he plays, he's happy. And I'm thinking, well, he's still got that searing pace. Now, I've heard one report say saying he's not as quick as he was. He shouldn't be any slower. He's had no massive injuries, has he? He's only 29. He used to be rapid. He used to be really rapid and direct. And, you know, full-backs, centre-backs don't like people running at him. And I thought, no, no, I think he might do as an half right job. I really do. And I've looked at his last two or three years' goal stats. They're not at all bad. And the thing is, I'm thinking to myself, well, the one upside is we get rid of Sancho. Because he's a bad egg, a bad apple. He definitely is. He needs moving on. So I'm thinking, well, we get him to someone that doesn't want to be here. Someone that our manager doesn't want to want him to be here. They don't want uh, Sterling. He's happy to come to United. I thought, yeah, take him. It's not a bad deal. And the more I think about it, it's not a bad deal at all. Yeah, I, I'd take it. I think it's okay. From two or three days ago, me not wanting him. Now, I think I'd pretty much welcome him. I think he'd probably do his job. We'd get two or three years out of him. Yeah, no problem. Bring it on, as they say. Bring it on. Yeah, that'll do me.